is a noun. Uh, day is a week. This is a frequency. Wide is a description. And tall is a description. Question. Do you have vocabulary questions in this case? Not the chair. Everybody knows what is away, for example? Similar to yes, sure. distance. Similar to distance. In, 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 if it's a description, because distance is a noun. Mm -hmm. Color blue. Give me a description that is a synonym. Mm. Far? Yes. Good job. Very good, Mitch. Away is similar to far. And actually, you can say 20 minutes far, 20 minutes away, it's the same. You see? Yes. Let's have a conversation. Okay? These questions, the questions at the right, these are normal questions when you are asking for information. Let's practice them. Number one, how deep? Um, Caesar, ask a question to Karen using how deep. Okay. Um, how deep? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. How deep is the Bravos River? Perfect. What river? Can you repeat? Um, Bravo River. Ah, okay. Yeah. The apostrophe S is not necessary. Bravo okay. is a name. Okay. How deep? Is a uh, Bravo River. Good pronunciation. What is river? River. River. River again. How deep is a uh, Bravo River? Perfect. What do you say, Karen? How deep is Bravo River? The Bravo River is four hundred and fifty meters deep. The Bravo okay. River. Is so deep. Oh, no, this is five stars response. Eh? Quickly, <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. She's an encyclopedia. Very good. Easy, easy. Easy peasy information. Everybody knows. <laughs> Everybody knows, especially Karen. <laughs> okay, Karen, question. Um, with the next one, how heavy? And question, Luis. Okay. Uh, Luis, uh, how heavy are you? Mm -hmm. That's important. Oh, a, a, a rude question. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one very direct? Uh, um, I guess. Um, I am so heavy right now because December. <laughs> Everybody, bro. Everybody. Oh, yes. <laughs> so heavy, he said. Very, very good. Emphasis, so. Good job. Luis, ask a question using how high to Jessica. Okay. Mm. Jessica, do you know how high is Torre Latino? Mm. To Torre. Torre. <laughs> Torre oh, Latino. Yes, it's tower. Tower. Latin yes. tower? Tower. 
But Latin Tower or only Tower Latino? Latino is the name. Okay. Yes. Do you know how high is Tower Latino? Nice. What do you say? Yes. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't listen, but I. Tower Latino? Mm -hmm. Or high is Tower Latino? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Let me to check. Okay. Ask. Ask Google. Ask no. Alexa. Hi. Uh -huh. But ask in English, eh? Don't don't Google in Spanish. Mm. Mm. It's it says that Tore Latin Tower. Tower. Uh -huh, exactly. Latino. Latino is a name. Uh, Latino Tower. Mm -hmm. Is one hundred seven six seven seventy seventy mirrors. Uh huh. Hey. Exactly. Pronunciation. Let's go Hi. over here. Hi. Exactly. Hey doesn't exist. Hi. One more time. The Latino tower is one hundred seven six. No. Yes. Seven six mirrors. Mm -hmm. Height. Height. You so, are correct. Mm -hmm. So the the Latino tower is very high. Very good. Good job. Good, good job. In this, in today's standards, you can say not very hard. You know, because we, in previous classes, we saw other other towers like Bur Khalifa. Do you remember the Bur Khalifa? Mm -hmm. Or the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower is higher. It's higher? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, technically, the Latino Tower is very, very small. So what is the what is the emphasizer to say high but not really high? Emphasizer my thing that is look at this. Not very that's right. Tell me your example again. Yes. The The Latino tower is not very high. Mm -hmm. That sounds much better. Compared to other towers? Compared to other towers? Mm -hmm. It's not very high. I agree. Good job. Next. The teacher, may oh. I take a screenshot? Sure. Sure, 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 please. Yeah. The 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 last slide. Uh, oh yeah, previous one, right? Yeah. Yes. Actually, you have all this information, man. You have it here. Look at this. You have positive sensations, very really okay. quite pretty. So, and negative sensations, we have not very, not really, not quite, etc. This is more complete. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. This one. If you want the other one, you can take this one. Yeah, no worries. Cool. Thank you. Jesse, ask a question to Mitch using how far? How far? Yep. Mitch, mm, how far is the 
cornerstone of your house. Mm -hmm. Eliminate of. What is the oh. connector for origin? Origin from. Exactly. Eliminate of and use from. One more time. Yes, Miss Ho for this. Mm, your cornerstone from your from house from whose house from your house exactly one more time yes 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 mm, miss how how far is your cornerstone mm, from your house perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. My corner store from my house is very far. Very far. Interesting. Good job. Good, good job. Mitch, ask a question to Pamela using how fast? How much, no teacher? How no fast? The next one is fast. Oh, fast. Mm -hmm. okay. How far and fast? You are muted, eh? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, how far? Um, how fast is your school? Uh oh, fast. You need to use fast. That's the next word. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. How fast? How fast is your car? Nice. Um, my my car is. Very fast. Cool. Perfect. Good. Pamela, ask a question using how many to Caesar? Mm. How many dogs do you have? Nice. Easy. Okay. I have three dogs. Perfect. Caesar, ask a question to Laurita using how much? Okay, Laurita, um, how much? Um, mm, 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 I don't know. Um, How much? Mm, how much? Mm, I, I don't know. How much cell phones do you have? Oh, cell phones are countable. What's the difference between many and much? Yeah, the countable or, or uncountable. Okay. When you say much, you need to use uncountable nouns. Okay. Uh, okay. How much sugar? Nice. Do you use in your coffee? Perfect. Good job. How much sugar do you use in your coffee, Laurita? Yes, I. I use in my coffee to spoon. Spoons. Perfect. Two spoons. Yes. Yes. Very, very good. That's a good example. Lorita, use how old to ask um, Val, Val Valdez. Vale? Yeah. Ah, vale. How old is um, your, your pit? Your, your what? Pit? Your pet is oh, pet. Uh, mm, uh -huh. good job. Uh -huh. Good question. How old um, is your pet? My pet is very old. Nice. Good job. 
Val, ask a question to Luis using how often? Um, Luis, how often do you travel? Good. Mm, um, I travel uh, very much because of my work. Mm -hmm. Because of my work. Because of my work. Good job. Perfect. Luis, ask a question using how wide to Karen. Okay. Karen, how wide is your TV? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think my TV is. Uh, how do you say pulgadas in English? Sorry. <laughs> you say inches. Inches? Mm -hmm. But if you are not sure, why not yeah. using an emphasizer? In your opinion, how wide is your TV? Mm, I think it's not very wide. Perfect. That sounds good. <laughs> you see? Good job. And the last one, Karen, ask a question to Caesar. Mm, with tall? Yeah, tall. Uh, Caesar, how tall is the tower in Paris? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, in I, your opinion? In you my have opinion? Emphasizers. The Eiffel Tower uh -huh. is very tall. Fantastic. Easy as that. It's such an easy activity to do this, right? What you need to, to, to memorize is probably new words like wide or high or deep. It's very necessary to use a description. And then the response is a number. Remember that all the time. The most common. What do you think is the most common question? The most popular, famous question in this case. How often? How often is it very popular? But not a lot of people use it. How, how, how much? much? How much? Exactly. How much? How, how much is the one that everybody knows? How old oh. are you? How old are you? That's one of the basic ones, exactly. How old? And you can transform this to how old is your mom? How old is your friend? How old is, etc. You can actually use other, other verbs. So remember these questions and do transformations. Okay? Now, for your information, you will use... And when you use how, you will need this description, and then I will give you extra information. The response is the type of information that you need to respond. If the information is on meters, centimeters, inches, or feet, you need to use deep to calculate depth. Probably depth is a new word, isn't it? Who knows what is depth? If you are talking about deep, what is depth? B2, Jesus. How did you go work? In Spanish, did you? In Spanish, go Mitch. Profundidad. Profundidad. Very good. That's the reason it's a difficult word, guys. Deep is a description, but depth is the noun. In the same case, we have, when you say how heavy or high or light, you are talking about mass. Mass is very is simple to understand because it's kilos, pounds, grams, 
etc. Do you understand mass? Yes. Cool. Yes. When you say how high, you are asking about height. Everybody pronunciation. Height. 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 What is height? What do you think is height in Spanish? Altura. Exactly. If you talk about high, the value is height. The next, when you talk about far or how far something is, you are asking about distance like kilometers, meters, or in the American system, you use yards, feet, inches, hours. You can actually use distance in time, like hours and minutes. When you say how fast, you are talking about speed. What is speed? Who knows? Speed is equal to distance. Fast. Plus Fast. time. <laughs> okay, very, very mathematic, Lewis. Yes. Speed equals distance over time. Yes. Over. But be careful. Be careful on, on in this case, Karen, you said fast, but this is not equivalent because fast is a description. This is orange and speed is blue. So that's not a synonym. Okay. Mm -hmm. Speed is how fast something is, or in Spanish, velocidad. Exactly. Velocidad. Gonzalez. Can you repeat, Karen? Like Speedy Gonzalez, the cartoon. Like Speedy Gonzalez. But yes, but Speedy. <laughs> no. Speedy is a noun. <laughs> There's no, no relation. Like, but yes, I mean. Speedy is an innovation <laughs> or is an invaded word From because speed. the word is speed. Okay. A2. When you say how many, you are talking about quantity. What is quantity? Do you remember? Yeah, the... the, the... The number of the things the or the, the things. yes. The... There is another synonym, Louis. Try to remember. Similar to quantity. Amount. Very Amount. good. You are correct, Mitch. Quantity is a synonym. Of amount. And we Amount. Respond with some, a lot of any, etc. <laughs> good job. How much is very flexible? It has two applications. The first one is when you talk about price. So the answer is dollars, pesos, yens, whatever. Okay. Or you have another option that is quantity but you are talking about non-countables. For example, a little, some, and a lot. How old talks about age. Mm -hmm. How often talks about frequency. And how wide talks about width, which is very new word. What do you think is width? If you say height is altura and, and depth is profundidad, what is width? Ancho. Ancho. Exactly. Ancho or anchura. Anchura exists? I don't know. That's a good question. 
that's it. This, my people, is your vocabulary for today. Questions of degree in a nutshell. Of course, I will pass you this summary into your WhatsApp group so you can collect your material and study for the exam. Do you have any question right now? Where is the exam? <laughs> when is the exam? Ah, don't worry, we are beginning the course. Our first evaluation is on the 26th. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much Teacher. it. Yes, Mitch. Is it correct to say the abbreviation or abbreviator? Oh. I don't know, like KM, H. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or I no. need to say all. When you speak, you need to say the complete word, but when you write, it's optional. Okay. So this is necessary to be kilometers, kilograms, grams, etc. You will never, never, never say KM, for example. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good question, eh? Good, good question. Anyone else? That's pretty much it. My people, we finished. We finished for today. Very, very good class. Let's practice tomorrow and I'll see you. Have a happy Monday. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You see good you. Good night. Thank you. See you guys. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. See you later, Luis, okay? Thank Let you. Let write to you. Yeah, Thank sure. You. I I miss it you a lot. You know, you don't know how much, Here how deep is your love. How deep is your love? <laughs> <laughs> very, Thank very you, deep, my friend. Very, very deep. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank See you. See you later, guys. Good night. Bye, Laurita. Good night. Bye, guys. See ya. See you. <laughs>